Hey guys, I just wanted to show you something really cool. Um, I've just put the rack and rest on, um, out on my own tonight. Just um, thought I'd come give it a bill with um, my new stock on my 22250. But I um, just want to show you something really cool if I can turn the camera around. So how cool is this? Let's turn a light on here. Right. Hey Clint, how you going? How cool is this guys? Look, I gotta go open the gate on my own. Whoa! Check it. I mean that's pretty cool. Unle unleashes the um gate opener <laughs> from a job that's for sure but from first uh looks at the uh rack and rest version 2.0 i think this is rack and rest 2 it's um a sturdy bit of kit guys it's very nice this is a my 22250 is quite um heavy um I did, however, as I was putting it on tonight, happen to lose one of these straps. So, luckily I'm a girl because I uh, improvised. Put some, some hair lackeys on here. But, oh, look, I tell ya, it's pretty Mickey Mouse. Um, so, simply to take it off, you just pull these two struts out. This one here and this strut here. You just pull them out and she's off. It's nice. It's got a huge range of mu movement up and down. So I've heard people in the past complaining about their range of movement, but I'll tell you what, there's a fair amount there. Um, the new, the so the Rack and Rest 2 comes with these um, dual swivel arm, I think, the extra arm. I don't think they used to come with that. They do now, so that's really handy. Um, also, I can um, attach to my actual handheld spotty um, to it as well my light force um, I haven't done that tonight as yet so um, at the moment I'm just running the Z vision oh look at this how cool mate how bloody cool so bear with me as I um you know do this so at the moment I'm just running the Z vision out the window you can um, see out there. Sorry, I'm not a good uh, dual person. <laughs> good at doing cameras and stuff, but honestly, these are mint. Um, how much do they cost? Uh, look, I can't remember off the top of my head, mate. Um, if you jump onto the page, you'll be able to see um, the link to Eagle Eye Hunting Gear. Um, and that's where they come from. Let me just get through this gate. Um, yeah, jump on there, Brett. They'll certainly be able to hook you up. Um, certainly really, really handy if you're doing it yourself. Um, yeah, because as you can see here, so you can just change it around. Nice and easy. This part here also hooks onto the car so if you want it to go further out I can't really do it with two hands but um you just um hook it off that that little knob there if I can do it no, I can't do it too hang on a sec I'll have a look <laughs> there we go sorry guys <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this little um, arm actually comes off of these knobs, so it gives you an extra range of movement um, out this way. Um, I'm quite short, so I've got to have these a bit lower um, than normal. But it's very solid, very, very solid bit of git. Um, they've also included in this one um, this bit of... A metal bracket here which goes actually into the door trim uh, yeah Brett can be used either side you can take this one off right now and swap it to the other side so um, 
yeah Josh with the bumps certainly will be good to check that out um yeah Clint do yourself a favor get one that's for sure um I'm just not sure how it will go because I've got the um square stock so it's not doesn't quite sit down in the v so um I might I may just have to bend that bit v a little bit so that it sits actually on my square stock but um I if I had any other one I would certainly fit in there no problems um they may even be able to uh, have a solution for that um but, but yeah I mean absolutely fantastic bit of kit um so yeah anyway guys I'm gonna go turn off all my lights now and uh go for a hunt um but yeah I just wanted to show you show you my first thoughts of the rack and rest too it's uh mickey mouse really nice nice and solid this bit that goes on the door really solid um that's not going anywhere i mean giving that a good shake um you can also adjust here if you've got quite an angled window you can adjust um how far in that um strut's gonna be so yeah it's pretty cool does it bounce with larger calibers uh no i don't think so um Lachlan um like I mean if if you if you have it just sitting out the window like that you've got free movement but once you actually lock it in and lock it back onto that knob it's not really going anywhere um this is the 22 250 and my ATN with ABL that weighs a kilo and a half on the top so yeah there you go Billy's got one he's saying he's got no issues while using He's in the rough paddocks. So, yeah, really good to know. But, yeah, first thoughts of it. It's um, absolutely mint. Um, you can adjust these in and out for if you want, like if you've got a larger stock or whatnot to suit your hunting. Um, yeah, I haven't shot out the uh, window on one of them before, so um, we'll give it a go later. Hopefully I... Um, I'm actually out tonight to hopefully catch one of the foxes that got into that lady's chook pen. Um, hi, Felicity. Um, <laughs> Felicity's around. Yeah, so, um, yeah, hopefully I can catch one of those uh, buggers. Um, they either come from this side or down from the river. So um, I can't get down to the river paddocks. Um, can't get down to the river paddocks because there's a crop there um but i'm just waiting on a pick rail for the 17 and once that comes along then i can uh, go for a walk near the paddock so yeah but um all good with that so far anyway i'll um go for a wonder i'll jump back on and yeah see what we can do <laughs> So as you can see, I'm just driving along. I can't actually see anywhere where I'm going because I've got no lights on. Um, but yeah, just drive along. Don't even have to touch it. That's pretty cool. All right. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>